hello everyone welcome back and i hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and in this video we are going to discuss everything about neat mock test now since we have three months left for neat 2023 this thing comes in every neat aspirant's mind that is it really necessary to attempt a mock test before neat if yes then when to attempt these mock tests how many mock tests one should give and what to do if you are scoring less and is it really mandatory to join a test series etc etc so in this video we are going to discuss all these points also i will share about my mock test scores and what i used to do when i was scoring less so yeah let's begin many students repeat this mistake that they just read write practice questions without giving mock test because they have this fear of getting less marks and that will lead them to demotivation and stress but if you don't test yourself, how will you know where you stand and what would be your rank, how much you are scoring and what is your level of preparation? So writing mock tests is an important as reading as syllabus. And in fact, both these things should go hand in hand. Now, I know you are fearing, thinking, what if I score less marks? Even I had been through this phase. But once you start giving mock tests, eventually you will start gaining confidence. Now, let's see how to give mock tests and what are the resources available so first of all from where to practice mock test there are bunch of resources available online but during my preparation i used an app called memo neat to give my mock test and i will definitely suggest you guys too the app memo neat is very helpful for neat preparation as well as to practice mock test in this app you will get mcqs and assertion reasoning questions Memonit is really beneficial and had almost 3000 plus assertion reasoning and multiple statement questions in biology. They framed it in the exact NEET 2022 pattern. Now let me tell you why Memonit is best. It has almost 30,000 plus questions that comes with special revision algorithm. Each question you practice in Memonit appears in regular interval like first day third day and fifth day and they only move to next level of the memory if you answer it right they have unique feature to practice formulas and name reactions in this section every formula is taken and divided into three questions first is flashcard type to read and memorize the equation second is match the elements to match the right expansions and third is jumbled word questions where you have to figure out right formula or equation from a group of jumbled words this section just made learning formula more fun and interactive than it ever had been same kind of formula section is available for physics formula you can learn physics formula using that section and come back practice questions using the formula section memo need physics section has video lectures on all important topics and you can find 30 plus years of pyqs with video solutions for each pyq two similar pyq questions were framed to help you recognize and recall the work method in need 2022 94 out of 100 questions in bio 42 out of 50 from chemistry and 30 questions of physics came from memo neat app the questions were either similar or directly came from the app you can check the proof in the app and you can now change the language too and biology section is now available in hindi so memo neat test series is so unique it is 100 percent ncrt based you can solve subject wise unit wise full length test series for unlimited times just at 1999 if you want to use this amazing app for your preparation use my code priya 300 to get rupees 300 off the link of memo neat app is given below in description make sure to check it out second thing is what to do if your mock test score is less so increasing marks in mock test is not a big deal i increase my marks from 200s to 600s in less amount of time now what i did was i used to spend 9 to 12 hours in a day purely studying it will take some time to cultivate as your habit Try to continue with your efforts religiously. It will give you a sense of confidence. Revise the syllabus thoroughly and remember that most of the exam paper chunks are from NCRT and it shouldn't be ignored. Now I know a lot of you are studying hard but still cannot score more. From my personal experience this condition arises when after giving tests you didn't analyze the paper properly. 
therefore you commit the same mistake again and again and as a result you are stuck on the same score so firstly you need to analyze the paper remember giving test is of no use if you are going to commit the same mistake again and again so analysis is must now let's see what to do for each subject separately in biology if you are scoring below 300 you need to focus more on ncrt read it again and more carefully and if you are scoring above 300 you can definitely switch to any other reference books see reading biology modules isn't bad but focus should be to not leave any questions from ncrt if you are scoring less marks in physics the reason could be you don't know the concepts so firstly make a way to know the concepts and then practice questions second reason could be you know the concepts but unable to apply the reason is lack of dedication while practicing so do practice the questions with full dedication third reason could be you can solve easy questions but not above level ones so for that what you can do is practice 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 and most importantly read the questions with a calm mind recall the theory related to it and if you are still not getting ask your teacher or take help from the doubt solving apps but don't just leave it this year neat physics was easy and next year too nta is taking the exam so maximum chances are for again an easy one but still your preparation should be for the worst case possible see the main reason for less marks in physics is lack of practice so make sure you don't commit this mistake for chemistry ncrt for organic and inorganic for physical chemistry again practice questions be through with formulas and how to apply them and solve pyqs good quality of questions are rarely seen from physical chemistry in past two years so moderate grip will work but again like physics the more you practice the more stronger your grip becomes and solve as much mock test as you can learn from mistakes strengthen the left out part and again solve also solve the paper within time limit just don't stop over the temporary failures and keep working with correcting your mistakes also solve the paper within time limit just don't stop over the temporary failure and keep working with correcting your mistakes timely and don't freak out after seeing your marks these are just your test marks not your neat paper marks these are just for practice just make sure to analyze where you went wrong and with that thank you so much for watching that's it for today and don't forget to check out the memo app i'll see you all on my next video till then bye bye and stay safe